Right now, I'm gonna teach you every single thing you need to know about how to lay out a website. So by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to structure, lay out, and build incredible websites that feel complete. No more looking at the sites that you build and feeling like they're missing something, but having no idea what's making them feel unprofessional. So this is the Figma file that we're gonna be using, and I'm gonna go step by step by step breaking down every single section, how to organize them, how to order them, and by the end, we're gonna have a complete website. So if you look at a website in terms of building blocks, it can really be broken down into just a few pieces. There's your navigation, your hero section, your body, and your footer. Each of these building blocks should contain very specific information. If you put these in the wrong order, or you fill them with the wrong text and wording or images or graphics, your website's not going to convert well. So this first block is the navigation, which we don't wanna spend a lot of time on because it's pretty obvious. A navigation really just needs a few things. You wanna have your logo, which should be linked to the homepage of your website. You're gonna have links that go to different important pages of your website. And then most of the time on the top right, you're gonna have some sort of call to action. Now, the one tip I'll give you here is don't put links in your navigation unless they're absolutely necessary for the user. Every time you add links in the navigation that aren't really important, they just act as bleed points that distract the user. So if you follow this tip, your navigation is going to be perfect. The next building block is your hero section. And the hero section is the most important part of your website. This is the first thing people see when they come to your website. And if it doesn't catch their attention, people are going to leave your site before they see anything else. So we have to make sure that your hero section is optimized. When we're looking at a hero section, there are a few things that you must have. First and foremost, is in your header you need to tell people what you do and who you do it for. If people come to your website and they read your main header and are still confused, they're not going to continue to read or scroll. So be obvious and transparent so they know exactly what they're looking at. The next thing you need is a really strong call to action. If your site is for some type of software, having a button that says free trial is probably the best thing you can do. If your website is for any type of service business or consulting business, you probably wanna have an option for people to book a call with you. You can also have calls to action that invite people to look at the pricing or download a free resource. The other thing that's really going to help your hero section is having social proof. Social proof can mean a lot of different things. This can be reviews, testimonials, badges. You can talk about how many users or customers you have. You can use client logos, or you can just show users faces. These are all great ways to build trust with the user. So here's another example. This one is actually my software, and it has all of those same and important elements that make a great hero section. The header tells them what we do and who we do it for. We've got social proof, we've got strong call to action, and we also added a video demo that peaks up at the very bottom of the viewport, which encourages people to scroll, press play, and watch what the software does. It's also great to add images and animations to showcase whatever it is your site is offering. Now your hero doesn't always have to be center aligned and it certainly doesn't have to be a single column. There are tons of different ways to lay out your hero section, whether it's a single column, double column, vertical or horizontal layout, it doesn't really matter. Now because your hero section is the most important part of your website, I would recommend researching all of the different layouts and ways that you can design your hero section. I have multiple videos on this and I would invite you to go watch this video right here that I'm going to link to up in the corner. This also has a free Figma file where you can download all of the different layouts to use them in your website. All right, so let's move on to the next part, which is the body. Inside this body, there's a lot to accomplish. You need to have an overview of your business or services. You need to show all the features and benefits. You can show them examples of your work. You can add more social proof. You can have links to specific blog articles. You can have an FAQ. And the most important part of your entire body is your call to action. The call to action section within your body is going to be even more effective because people have scrolled and learned more about your business. So they're more likely to click the call to action than maybe they would have been up in the hero section. There's really no rules to how you can lay out, style, and design these different sections within the body of your website. And you can tell that from these different examples. If I was to pull back the styling of these, you would see that each one has a completely different and unique layout. And that's what gives a website personality. So when you're creating these sections, here are three tips that will help give your site that personality. The first tip is having variation in layouts. Nothing drives me more crazy than websites that have the same two column layout in every single section all the way down the site. So if you want your website to feel unique, you have to use lots of different variations of layouts. Site visitors are much more likely to stay on your site, engage with it, and continue scrolling 
if every section feels unique and exciting. Guys, I just realized that almost 80% of you watching this video still haven't subscribed. This means every time I give out a free Figma file or resource, you don't get notified. So if you want a heads up when that stuff drops, just click subscribe down below. The next tip is variation in color. You don't want every single one of your sections to have a white background or just a black background, but instead add a little bit of variation. There are times where this might not work perfectly with your brand, but I can promise you people will be much more engaged in your website if the background changes colors every once in a while. This will make it feel like they're not just looking at the same thing over and over again. And the third tip is variation in section height. Having your sections be all different sizes also just gives it a little more variation, which makes it feel fresh and keeps the user engaged. So now let's talk about the most important section within the body of your website, and that is your call to action. These calls to action can be simple banners like this that have a simple call to action, or it can be something more detailed like showing different pricing plans. Having a full section just for your call to action is the best way to convert people on your website. Now the last section is the footer. The footer is not something that necessarily has to be beautiful or engaging, but there are a few things that you wanna make sure to add to your footer. You wanna make sure you have links to all core pages of your website. If there were pages that weren't important enough to link up in your nav, they still deserve a place down in the footer. This helps search engines crawl through your site and it's also going to help users navigate your site. You can include a company logo that also links back to the homepage. You can include links to your socials and you can even invite people to subscribe to your newsletter. As with any other section, there are tons of different layouts that you can use. As long as you pick something that matches the style of your website, you're gonna be in great shape. All right, so the video's not quite over. This last thing that I wanna mention is extremely important for any website. And it's this line right here on the left that goes from green to red. This line represents user engagement. So basically what this means is the further down your site people scroll, the more likely they are to leave your site. 100% of visitors are going to see your hero section, but a very small percentage are ever going to make it down to the bottom of your site. So what this means is you wanna put your most important information as high on the website as possible. So in the first one to two scrolls, you should be showing them everything they need to know about your services, your product, all of the social proof that they need to trust you, and you need to make it really obvious that you are a perfect fit for what it is that they need. Keeping this concept in mind is going to help you know how to organize all of the different sections and the information of your homepage. So if you follow these building blocks, your navigation, your hero section, the body, and the footer, and then you always remember that your most important information should go as close to the top as possible, your websites are going to look and feel and perform amazingly. Now, like I mentioned before, I've got lots of different videos that will give you examples of different layouts, variations, and styles of website sections. So I definitely recommend going and checking out those videos. And if you like this type of content, it definitely makes me feel good to see you hit that like button. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.